Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. And yes, I am hugging my toilet paper. You know, in the course of any normal day, we experience things that cause us stress. If you drive Mopac or I-35, or if you have kids to get off to school, or just one of those meetings at work, and colleagues that you have differences with, and relationships that are challenging, there's any number of things that can create stress in our everyday life. But right now in particular, you might be feeling, as my grandmother used to say, a little bit in a funk. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your well-being and how you're doing and maybe some ways that you can put a check on yourself and make sure that you are doing well during this time. You know, we handle stress in a variety of different ways. We're all different. Some of us, we eat too much or we eat too much junk food. Some of us sleep too much or withdraw from people and some of us sleep too little. Some people drink too much. Some people are door slammers. Some people hug their toilet paper. Whatever it is for you, you know what those things are. The problem is that we often jump to that stress response before we think of it. And oftentimes those are unhealthy responses. So during these times where you might be experiencing a little bit more anxiety and you know you don't really know what's coming tomorrow, your well-being has to be important to you in order for you to move forward and be strong for yourself, your family, your job, any relationships that you have. And so today I'm gonna to talk with you about your stress relief toolbox. Toolboxes are something we're all familiar with. We have toolboxes in our homes for a variety of different reasons. This one is my husband's toolbox and it's full of, yes, you guessed it, tools. You can find all kinds of wrenches, probably every size that you ever wanted to find. Um, this was my husband's, probably grandfather's, tackle box. That's also a toolbox and so if you open it up, you're going to find things in there like, oh my gosh, fishing hooks and all kinds of really old and um, kind of stinky stuff in that toolbox. But it's a toolbox that becomes crucial for being able to go out and go fishing, right? You all have a drawer in your kitchen or somewhere in your house that's the junk drawer. You know that when you open that drawer, there are tools in there. Probably you threw them in there, rubber bands, paper clips, schools of thread, all kinds of things that we consider our junk drawer that becomes vitally important to us in those moments when we need those items, right? If you wear makeup, you have a makeup box or a makeup bag, that's a toolbox. And so let's talk for a minute about maybe getting through the next few weeks of your life by organizing your toolbox for stress relief. There are two basic toolboxes that you need, and then there are some power tools that I'll recommend. The first toolbox, and they'll be different for each one of us. What works for me may not work for you, but you'll get the idea as I talk through this. The first toolbox I call my breathing toolbox. Those are some things that I can pull out in the moment when I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety. That's just about me taking a breath, <sighs> disconnecting in the moment. It is sometimes literally shutting my eyes and breathing. And sometimes it's going outside and just sitting in the fresh air and taking a moment there. It's disconnecting from those things that are creating stress in our lives. We know we might have to go back to it. It may not be going away, but if we take a moment to remove that for a few minutes, even 30 seconds of breathing, that mindful moment, we're gonna come back stronger. So disconnecting from that stressor. Some people take a bubble bath. Some people might read a, a book. Something that is a moment of escape. Shifting your energy from the stressor, from that one thing or those several things that are causing you that anxiety. Certainly when you're doing that, you're turning off the TV. You're not engaging in conversation that is about that stressor. The second toolbox that is really my favorite is called my movement toolbox. 
There is so much evidence about physical activity and how it is a stress reliever. And so for me, I know that I can pull out in the moment that one tool of being able to go outside and go for a walk, even if it's just going around the block. And so if I go that short walk, I know I'm gonna feel better. That stressor may still be there, but I'm more prepared now to be able to handle it. I'm in a better frame of mind. Now, if I get that physical activity and I can take a moment to breathe and disconnect at the same time, all the better. So movement, physical activity, jumping up and down, playing frisbee with the dog, whatever it is that brings you that moment of movement. Get up, be active and recharge. Then the power tools. And I wanna really quickly talk about some of the power tools that are my favorite. Everybody has a variety of different power tools. One of my favorite power tools is sleep. And sometimes I don't always sleep so well, but I wanna tell you how important sleep is. It is when we at night can recharge, our body repairs itself actually and renews itself so that we're ready for the next day. When we're lacking in that sleep, that is when stress can kind of creep in and rear its ugly head and we're not able to deal with those stressors in our life very well. Gratitude. If you can find one thing, this is one of my favorites, one thing every single day to be grateful for. At the end of the day before I go to bed, I think about one thing in my day that I can be grateful for. Maybe it's a colleague. Maybe it's something my husband did for me. He's making pizza for me tonight. I'm gonna to be grateful for that. And it just sets your mind on something more positive. Healthy eating, certainly nutri nutrition in our body is really important to staying healthy. And giving to others. Now that's hard right now during the social distancing time, but think about some creative ways. You could pick up the phone, maybe you could write a letter, send a card to somebody, text message somebody that might not be expecting to hear from you just to say, hey, I care about you, I was thinking about you. There's so many ways to be grateful. Now those are just a few of my power tools, but the reason they're power, power tools for me is that they are powerful. And you know, hugging my toilet paper, it's not really a stress reliever for me, yet, it's funny how we go to things during times like this that are just in the moment. We need to think about the things that really work. And so move, breathe, and pull out those power tools and know that you are going to be well.